Hello and welcome to this Minecraft Forge modding tutorial. I'm SciGuy1121 and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to create a custom creative tab. So the way we do this, it's um, pretty simple. We're going to be working entirely in our base mod class and I'm going to be starting off with a predefined item and the way we're going to actually create the creative tab is up outside of any methods inside of our class we're going to define it as public static creative tabs and we'll call this um, tutorial tab equals new creative tabs and then we can name it so I'm going to well this isn't exactly naming it this is giving it a unique ID um, I'm going to call this tutorial underscore um, tutorial tab but what you probably want to do because this has to be a unique ID is you in all likelihood want to put your either your username or your mod name or something and then underscore the name of your tab um, that way it's very unlikely that someone else is going to be using that name in the language registry and it just fix it doesn't cause any problems um, but now we're actually going to add parentheses or not parentheses braces here uh, because it's a bit of a strange declaration and we're going to put the semicolon after the bottom brace and inside this we're going to do what looks like a method declaration and it is public item stack get icon item stack and then we have the method body and we're going to return new item stack and here you can create uh, you can just create a new item stack now the way you do this is you can either um, you pass in either an item or a block so I could say um, this dot wait no I could say item tutorial um, but if I were going to do that I actually want to put this um, underneath here um, and we could say this dot or we could say item tutorial um, or we could say um, item dot diamond for example or if we were passing in a block, we would either use a block from our mod or we could just say block dot like anvil or something. For this example, I'm going to be using item tutorial. And we need to import item stack. So just import item stack from net.minecraft.item and it'll clear all errors. Now we have our creative tab defined with the image um, this, by the way, is going to be the image that is shown on the tab. And the way we add an item to the creative tab is just say dot set creative tab. This is the same way you set you add a block to the creative tab, by the way. And we'll say tutorial tab. Um, finally, we actually have to name the tab. And this is where this name right here um, comes into play because we have to say language registry dot instance dot add string localization and the key is item group dot and then whatever you set this to be so it'll be tutorial underscore tutorial tab and then the value is going to be what you want to display to the user so I'll call this tutorial um, now if we run the game, then you will see that if we go into our creative world, yes, I want to continue loading, um, and we go into creative mode, then you'll see we can go over we have our tutorial tab and we have the tutorial item inside of the tutorial tab. So 
That is going to be it for this tutorial. Uh, source code will be in the description as usual. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you next time. Bye.